In a speech read by the Prime Minister, Robin Anabanja, President Museveni, head the Egyptians for their rich history that stretches back from the pyramids of Giza to the rich cultural and intellectual achievements of ancient civilizations. Egypt stands as a testament to human inequity and perseverance. For the past 11 years, Egypt has been pivotal in maintaining the EU peace and security. The president thanked the Egyptians for supporting Uganda's development agenda in the fields of health, agriculture, and trade, education, among others. Including terrorism and violent extremes, humanitarian action, and financing peace support operations in Africa. Uganda appreciates the important, the important role played by Egypt in training collaborations in the field of counterterrorism with the aim of enhancing cooperation in the fields of defense and security between the two sister countries. On the other hand, His Excellency Monzao Salim, the ambassador of extraordinary and plenipotentiary of the Arab Republic of Egypt to Uganda, commended Uganda for its brotherliness and cordial relations. We have Cairo Bank Uganda, which represents one of the top five banks of Egypt, and many others working in manufacturing, import, export, construction, transport, and logistics. And I think the display on my right hand side will give you just a hint of our presence here. Honorable Ministers, Egypt and Uganda enjoy a fruitful and long-standing history. We share resilient and cemented relationships. We have carried severe burdens together and overcame extreme challenges. These must motivate us to strive towards further development and cooperation as partners in business. 23rd July every year, Egypt marks the anniversary of the Egyptian Revolution of 1952, which led to the declaration of the modern Republic of Egypt, ending the period of the Kingdom of Egypt. Several ambassadors from different countries, ministers and other diplomats graced the National Day. Thank you. Thank you.